the only way that the church is built is as Jesus is our center, as we are focused on him, as we pray, as we worship the Lord, for as long as he sought the Lord, the Lord made him prosper. This morning, open your heart towards heaven and forget about everyone and forget about anything else but Jesus. Let's pray. Father, this morning we are eternally grateful for who you are. We draw to you that we may receive grace and mercy that it may help in times of need. Help us, Lord. We thank you for your grace and for your mercy. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for renewing our minds. We thank you for building our lives. We, help, we thank you for helping us to overcome, oh God. Thank you, Father. We give you glory, honor, and praise. We pray for every person here under the sound of my voice, my Father, that you may help them, Lord, that you may draw them closer to yourself, that they may be rooted and grounded in your love. Strengthen them with might in the inner man, Father. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your goodness. Help every one of us. Help every one of us. Jesus, we need you. Jesus, we need you. We put our trust on you this very morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you are going to help us. Thank you, Lord, that you are going to bless us. Thank you, Lord, that every need that we have, that you are going to meet. Arise, O God, and let all your enemies be scattered. Grant us great victory. Accelerate us, O God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Why don't you lift your voice and just pray in other tongues. Just pray in the, in the Spirit. Just pray in the Spirit. Mahandele Brogan. Yala Katule Balekanose Beloshono Kamenosia. Nechone mapala katune, sendelosia katare, ziamakata renosia te selecare, beshandala crado sia talacreto selejade, barabadole, shatalagadole, ramanelo, racatole, sacarema de bechore, ramadele, sacatole, belagadole, balamandola, balagazella, balagadola, balagadale. Jamanan de la briba solo lo brava do lo graga de la briba solo lo brava. Bala catole, bragadole, shakatala mandolo brava. Ramanan de la brava sala la briba do lo brava sala la briba. Jamanan de la briba do lo brava de la briba sala la brava. Monda la briba do lo brava sala la briba do lo graga de la briba. Jamanan de la briba do lo brava do lo briba de la graga. Jamanan de la brava do la. Ramananda la brabadola Ramananda la brabadola Ramananda la brabadola Ramananda la brabadola Kasune kasune je ade ado ase ade mahade leveje Mangelido brigo dela scadela jigona se bragadona Mandele braba solo lo giga Degalenande la brado seleja Zie ate ade ade mahadele gragado Jimen hanamru no man saliga data Jimen saliga data Brondescal de jiba Pardosi ade ajoman saliba data Thanks a million As we look into your word We pray for the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you We pray that Christ be more real to your people as they hear your word. Build us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Church, the more we are going to seek the Lord, the more we are going to see victories. After victories, after victories, after victories. After victories. Let me let me remind you of something. During the, before the Good Friday celebration, we took time as a church to, to pray. We were praying a lot. I remember there was a, even a three day that we prayed just prior to the Good Friday celebration. 
I wasn't surprised, Bazalane, when I saw how our Good Friday became a success because of prayers that have been going on. Yes, because we don't pride ourselves, but the Lord. Obviously. So, church, because we are a church that emphasizes the grace of God. So, sometimes working, and I'm not talking about a job, in your workplace. I'm talking about praying, giving, winning souls. Could seem like it's work, but it's not work. Amen? It's it's actually it's 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 over what the Lord has done for us. Then our heart turn to him and we give him our very best. So just the more we are going to pray and seek the Lord the more we are going to see answers in our lives, the more we are, we are going to see us going forward more and more. Amen? Amen. I pray that that be your heart's conviction Amen. and desire. And I just want to emphasize another thing. We are all here as children of God, but if you, on a personal point, you, you don't take these things serious, they are going to affect you. The Lord, all of us, he cares for us. But if you won't do anything about what God says, even God can force you. Amen. So I want to admonish and encourage everyone to, to make it very personal. Amen. To make it very personal. Are you blessed? Amen. Why don't you go to seven people and say, I've already been preached on, man. And you may be seated. Thank you. Oh, yes. He's here. You are here. And you said you'll never leave. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. You are here. You are here. And you said. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. You are true. You are true. And your promise. And your promises are We trust you, Lord. We trust you, Lord. We trust you, Lord. You are true. You are true. And your promises. We trust you, Lord. We trust you, Lord. We trust you, Lord. You are King. You are King. And you reign. And you reign forevermore. Reign in my life. Reign in my life. Reign in my life. Reign, reign, reign. Jesus reign.
what a time to be alive. I just want to greet all our YouTube and Facebook viewers. Thank you for joining in with us this very morning. We also would love to welcome all those that are joining us for the first time. The Kaya Family Church. Thank you for joining in with us here physically as a church. If you are coming for the first time, would you wave your hand wherever you, where you are seated? I would love to give you a warm Kaya Family Church welcome. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Basalani, you can do much better than that. Did I miss anyone this afternoon? Oh, come on. Let them feel it. Go YouTube and Facebook. Yes. Hallelujah. Isn't the Lord good? Isn't the Lord wonderful? We believe in Psalm 92. Put it on the screen. It's not my message. I'm just pastoring you for now. Verse number 13. That says, those that are planted in the house of God shall flourish in the courts of our God. So the Bible talks about being planted. Many years ago here as a church, we were building our, our first phase building that included toilets. So we were raising funds so that we can uh, have toilet seats. So... When it came to men having to raise money for their own toilets, it was taking a far longer than, than it should. <laughs> so I was in my house, and I had a vision. In this vision, it seemed as if I was visiting somewhere, and I needed to go to the toilet. And when I got there, there was no toilet. There was a toilet room, but there was no toilet seat. So I was, then I woke up. Then I understood what the Lord is saying. Say, just act and don't wait for these men. Go ahead and make sure go to my toilet as soon as Because here's the point. What does this, that have to do with the scripture I'm saying? Uh, put the scripture on the screen. Because imagine if you go to the toilet and you don't find the toilet seat. Maybe the toilet seat decided to relocate and say now, I am staying behind the house. Just try to figure where I am. Then when you go behind the house, no one says, no I'm, no, I'm no longer behind the house. I'm at the side of the house. There are certain things you just want them to be where you, where you know them to be. Amen. See, that's, 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 the, the, that's the blessing of being planted. So being planted, it means you are in one place. So it says, those that are planted in the house of the Lord. So make sure that you are planted in the house of the Lord. Perhaps you came during Good Friday, you gave your life to Jesus Christ. The most important thing is the Lord as a child of God. The second most important thing, I'm not, I know your family is important, is church. And uh, are you with me, child of God? So it's very much important that you must be planted in the house of the Lord. In the house of the Lord, God will speak to you. God will guide you. God will furnish you and strengthen you. So you will never know the day where your pastor is anointed specifically for you. So your duty is to keep coming to church. I went to Singapore and the pastor who was preaching told a beautiful story of a woman who came in the service sick. She was having a walker because she didn't have strength to carry her. So on that day, the pastor decided to preach on marriage, relationship, couples. The sick woman wanted the pastor to talk about healing, perhaps flowing the gifts of the spirit, but none of that happened. But what? So the woman just decided, let me sit anyway, I'm already here. She was not happy. She said throughout the service, she said throughout the service, when the service was finished, she just got up from her chair and went away. So as she was leaving, one closer to the door, the ashes called and said, Lady, woman, you forgot your walker. They gave her her walking stick. She now had strength to walk. She was healed in a service that was not even talking about healing. But she got healed. 
to them here. So, God can minister to you while you are in the house of the Lord about many circumstances in your life that at that moment you may not put one plus one. That's how God works. I said that's how God works. As we are here, while we were worshipping, God was already involved in our situations. We, as we worship, we give him chance to work in our hearts and work in our lives. Yeah. So that is why it's important that you be from the beginning of the service while we sing, while we pray, because a lot of angelic participation, ministration are happening in our lives in those moments. So more as well as we, as we listen to the word, uh, God moves. You see, we think, okay, God moves. It's a healing service. That's when God is going to heal. We, we compatibilize things. We, we put things into departments or times. But God doesn't work like that. God can just work while I'm just talking now. You find God is already ministering to somebody's heart. Hallelujah. Just, just, just forget about yourself. Concentrate on Him and worship Him. Just forget about yourselves. Concentrate on Him and worship Him. Oh, just forget about yourselves. Wise men from the east, they followed the star. Even wise men of our times, they still follow Jesus. So we lift up. Give me the right key. Go ahead. Yes. Follow Jesus. You see, we are not here to just follow a program. And this is not giving you a permission to be late in church. But follow the Lord. Follow the Lord. Follow the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up, so we lift up holy hands in one accord.
that I, I desire more than anything is to, to squeeze you in. Bolokela in where the strength of God is. And what, what blessed us through the year. Oh, Jesus. Yesterday I was seated in, at my house. I was listening to the boys. They were, they were my, the kids. They were playing music. And they kept playing worship songs that I grew up listening to. So, and my desire was this generation of new believers.
just wa- you don't just walk in in church and walk out the same. Your time of worship is important. It's very important. Lord. Can't you feel a fresh breeze preparing you for what lies ahead as the week begins? Giving you victory ahead of time. For the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. This is the moment where God rearranges your life and takes you forward. This is the time where <laughs> no power of witchcraft will work against you. This is the time where favor just comes all over you, over and over and over and over and over. Oh. Lord, saturate us with those realms of glory. Hallelujah. Why don't you lift your hands and just seek the Lord. Just seek the Lord. We love you, Jesus. 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 This is a moment where you get healed. Without anyone saying, be healed. You just, because the Lord, the Prince of Peace is here. And he heals every disease. Every problem gets sorted. Every power of darkness falls flat. Jesus be lifted. Oh, Jesus. 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 Why don't you say something sweet to the Lord? Just say something sweet to the Lord. Yes. Yes. Just learn to be in the presence of the Lord. Some of us are strangers in the presence of the Lord. Sazi piano, but we don't know the Lord. Just come in the presence of the Lord and bask in the presence of the Lord. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. You just bask in the presence of the Lord. Let your heart seek Him. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. You, lo- you love us. We love you, Jesus. Oh. We will. Again. Dear Congenital. See a time that is. Yes. We will be a stranger in the presence of your father. I'm going to a mass. Yes. Yes. Yeah, butchers. Yeah, butchers. In Tandawe, Natchez. Yeah, butchers. Mashande. Konila Sia Maturi. Panizo Chinganadi. Nando Sia Pacha. Beautiful Jesus. Palagadole Jimon Salibadai. Cardonise Peledose. San Pramanzelo Chinzaramai Lambriato Skelenomze Brabase Corinanze Pelejar Zentor Benaz Jalakatol 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 Polengela Scoramenda Lebriba. Don't get tired. Oh, just talk to your Savior. Let them solve problems you don't you don't even know how to solve. Solve it for me, Lord. Jesus. Matal Bezon. Matal Bezon. Akarino Sela Shimazar. Amen. Can't you can you sense the presence of the Lord coming for you? 
Can't you sense the presence of the Lord coming for you and to, to solve your problems? For the battle is not yours, but the battle is the Lord's. Child of God, leave it in the hands of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. If, if he carries the weight of the world upon his shoulders, I know, my sister, that he will carry you if he upon his shoulder. I know, my brother, that he My sister that he will I know my sister that he will carry say it one more time My brother, that he. I know my brother that he would carry you. I know my sister that he. I know my sister that he would carry you. Say it again. I know my brother that he will carry you. I know my brother. Carry you. One more time, I know my sister that he will. I know my sister that he will carry you. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 How many of you love Jesus? How many of you know he's in our midst? That my life and your life will never be the same again. You know, Barcelona, I can preach mighty God of us 10. But why do we take so much time basking? It's because one day in his court is better than a thousand elsewhere. The more you draw, your life is not the same. All your issues, your anger, your bitterness, your frustration, they just fall. They just fall. Then nothing else becomes more important than Jesus. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And, and then you become lighter, like that heavy burden just lifts off you, just lifts off you. How sad it is that church can be treated like a lecture room with 40, 45 minute sermons, with three points, with people that are in a rush to go somewhere, whose lives are not affected by the presence of the Lord. But we are here to seek the Lord. We are here to walk closer to the Lord. We are here to draw closer to the Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Isn't it beautiful? Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. You see, Barcelona? teaching you worship ne? and to lead worship is not always about singing too much because in that sweetness in that sweetness that's where God melts our hearts 
This is at that point that we repent. It is at that point where we say, I put my trust in you. Like someone begins to sing Psalm 46 verse 10. Do you know Psalm 46 verse 10? Do you know Psalm 46 verse 10? Be still and know I am Lord. Be still and know. Be still and know. Miss Iphone. Psalm 46. If it's not Psalm 46, it's Isaiah 46. I see and pen. Yes. Be still and know that I am God. Shalawas. Whatever problem of pagan and I, Shalawas. Shalawas. That I am Shalawazi. Wazi Gingutiko Shalu Wazi Shalu Wazi I don't know what battles you are fighting. Be still. And know I am the I am God. Be still and know. In thee, O oh Lord, do I put my trust? Do I put my in thee, O oh Lord? Oh Lord, do I put my trust in Thee? I get communion. Do I put give the Lord a praise? Hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. One more time, give Jesus a praise. Oh, come on, church. Give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give him the glory. Today, what I'm going to share about, I really believe is going to help you in your walk with God. It's one of those things that are very central to our Christian walk. I'm going to talk about favor, but as I talk about favor, neighbors, it's, um, it's actually the sermon is favor and influence. Favor and influence. But as I talk about favor and influence, then I'll delve more talking about faith because we must have faith for favor. Favor is not what your pastor likes for you. Favor is what God likes for you. And, and favor is your portion. And favor, God really wants us to be highly favored. And we talk about it because we want you to believe God for it. And we want you to receive it. It makes a huge difference. It says in the book of Genesis, I don't know if it's Genesis 6 verse 10. Yeah, it says, Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And we are saying the year 2023 is the year of his grace. 
So may you find grace in his sight. Yeah, may you just find grace. May God grace you in every area of your life. May you find things working in your life. May things work for you. May they work for your good. May you see God's best in every area of your life. Somebody say amen. amen. How many of you know that amen means magubenjal? And even as you are saying amen while I preach, it means you are receiving what I am saying. You see, when we were, before we got born again, if you used to go to a pub, then when someone plays a nice song, say, pee in there, but here we say amen. So that's what happens. Amen. <laughs> Somebody say amen. amen. Yeah, don't get lazy to say amen. And your amen must be, like yes, last week you were doing powerful amen when Pastor McClough was preaching. And, and your amen must stay there. I'll, it must stay there. It must, can I get an amen here? Yeah. All right, all right. It's more like it. Then I can preach. Amen? amen. So, favor and influence. So, we're going to start our story in First Samuel chapter number 14 from verse number 1. If we had time, I wish we would start with chapter number 13 just to give you a bit of background. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So Israel, maybe go to chapter 13. That means we're going to stay here for a long time because we're still on chapter 13 and we still have to go to chapter 14 because I have to make Maria catch up. Maria has to catch up. Hallelujah to God. <laughs> All right. So now the story starts uh, in verse number 16. Ne? Okay, 15. So Samuel, uh, first Samuel chapter number 13, verse 15. So Samuel arose and got, get about Gilgal unto Gibeah, of Benjamin. Saul was number, had numbered the people that were present with him. There were 600 men. Someone say 600 men. 600 men. So there were 600 men on the side of Saul. But they are in a battle. They are fighting against the Philistines. Some say, I'm a Philista. Why are you saying it? So that you don't sleep. Okay? Right. Now it says verse 16, Saul and Jonathan his son. So Saul was the king of Israel. Jonathan was the son of the king. And the people were present with them, abode in Gibeah of Benjamin, but the Philistine encamped in Mishmash. No, it's not mincemeat. It's Mishmash. So they were campering there. Now, just give them a picture, um, uh, that picture for them to uh, more or less understand uh, what I'm talking about. So, they were surrounded. They were camping at Gibeah. Some say Gibeah. Yeah. So Gibeah is here. And as you see Jerusalem being here. And Bethel up there. That's Mishmash. So the Philistines were here at Mishmash. <laughs> Bubi? Yeah. Mishmash. Just say something powerful. Some say Mishmash. Mishmash. Please don't give your child that name Mishmash. Ne? Yeah. So they were there at Mishmash. So then they decided to attack Israel from three groups, from three sides. This side, this side, and this side. So somebody would say, let them go back to uh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem at this time was captured by the Jebusites. So the Jebusites. So the Jebu some say, somebody say Jebusites. So they were, uh, they were, they were, they were, they were, yes. Okay, let's continue. They were, they, were, they were captured by the Jebusites. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So they are surrounded by all, on all sides. And there were about 600 men, reading from verse 18. They came from all these different sides trying to attack Israel. Here's a very sad point here in verse number 19 that we read about. Verse 19, it says, there was no smith found throughout the land of Israel. So, 
There was no man that had weapon because no one could work an iron to produce a weapon. Are you with me? So there was no Smith found, so Mr. Smith. There was no Mr. Smith. So it was not just a surname. A, a Smith was someone who worked with iron, who knew how to, who had the engineering to produce iron. Ne? Throughout the land of Israel, for the Philistines said, lest the Hebrews make swords and spears. So they disarmed them by not allowing them to have the technology. Next verse. So Saul, Saul reigned one year. Israel went down to Philistine to sharpen every man his share. So in those days, they used to, when they had an ex, not ex yako, in Basel. So then they would go down to, to the land of the Philistine to sharpen in Basel, not ex yako. Ne? <laughs> Are you with me? So, all right, sorry. Somebody says it's too early in the morning for those things. Yes. So they went to sharpen their eggs. So they would not give them how to have iron, how to have weapons. They just allow you to sharpen your eggs for farming and those things and go back. Go down. So now they need to go in battle. They are surrounded by the Philistine. But no one has weapons except to go down to sharpen. Even that is embarrassing to go and line up at the Philistines' country to sharpen your, 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 your ex, your basil. Next verse. Hmm. It came to pass in the day of battle that there was neither sword nor spear found in the hand of the people that were with Saul. There were 600, but none of them had what? Weapon. Except Saul and Jonathan. Amen. Only two people had weapon. Go down. So they didn't have weapons. So there were no weapons found in Israel. See, Barcelona, this is what the enemy wants. He wants just a few of us to know the way. He wants the rest of us to rely in the arm of the flesh to gain victory. He wants us to use worldly weapons to fight the enemy. If you fight the enemy with his weapons, you're going to be defeated. If you are going to fight the uh, bitterness with bitterness, you are going to be defeated. Yeah. 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 Yes. So now let's go to chapter 14 where we were going. So in chapter 14, there were 600 men, but they did not have weapons. So Saul and Jonathan, let's go. Saul and Jonathan, in chapter 14. So... So they came down, okay, let's go down for time's sake. Saul tarried with those people under the pomegranate. <laughs> I understand if you are shocked why that size are done. A miracle just happened. Just know that a miracle happened. Eh? You may not know. Let me repeat that. Pomegranate. Let me repeat that. Pomegranate. Please don't shine on my shine. Pomegranate. <laughs> okay, let me explain to you. So when he said pomegranate, it's a miracle. All right. Hallelujah. Encourage the pastor. How are you? Siasam. 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 Listen here now. So the people that were with Saul, there were 600 men. Some say 600. Let's go down quick. It says, I hear the son of Ahithop and Ichabod. Please, if you are looking for a child's name, because your child has to go to school. And can you imagine... They, them calling your child Ichabod. In Hebrew, it says the glory has departed, but you don't call your child Ichabod. Uh, it's not going to be nice, okay? You know a school in Bakwaranaganjan. That's what I'm trying to say. He was the son of Phineas, the son of Eli, 
the Lord's priest. They were wearing an ephod. So an ephod was that priest, on top of the priest garment, they had stones, precious stones, that were on the chest of the priest. So if they needed direction sometimes, they, and the prophet was not there, then they took the ephod against a light, the stone that will be lit, then they will know which direction to take. For example, if it's red, it means stop. If it's green, go. So it would be something like that. Then they will also know which nation should pursue first because of the kind of stone that was lit. Because there were like 12 stones. Ne? And then there was a Urun and tu, Tumim and Urim. Just to confuse you. Hallelujah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so now, there were those priests. But the people knew not that Jonathan was gone. Jonathan was the son of Saul. And he decided to go away. Just like Uputz uh, Asa is trying to go away. Next verse. And between the passages, Jonathan sought to go over the Philistine garrison, meaning the army. There was a sharp rock on one side and a sharp rock on the other side. Rocks on every side. Sharp rocks. They are like you and me where we feel sometimes we are between the hard place and the hard place. And so they have to squeeze themselves and they are thinking to themselves, having to pass through these sharp rocks. And these sharp rocks have names. Go down. One name is Bozas and the other is Sene. Who's Sene? It's Sene and Bozas. So somebody could feel like I'm walking through Bozas and someone says I'm walking through Sene. Like I'm surrounded by difficulties and challenges. Hey, this is an opportunity for God to do something great in your life. Note, Saul had 600 men. Jonathan took his armor bear, so there are two. There are two. They are like Kaiser chiefs. Amen. How did I say something wrong? Go down. Wherefore, one, of, one was situated northward against Mishmash, meaning the Shaprock, and the other one southward against Gibeah. Go down. Jonathan said unto the young men that bear his arm, Come, let us go over the garrisons of, the of these uncircumcised. So, Jonathan is mindful that they don't have covenant. Your TV is about to switch off. So he says, concentrate on the sermon again. So it says that, uh, 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 <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a rush against time. Let's see who's going to win this one. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Your TV is off. When? <laughs> Go down. So, 600 men of Saul and two of Jonathan. Because Jonathan took his armor bear. He took his armor bear and he said, Come, let us go over to the garrison of the uncircumcised. Then he says, The Lord, it may be that the Lord will work for us. Go down. For there is no restraint with the Lord. God can work with many, or God can work with few. That's what he's saying. Jonathan says, There's no restraint with the Lord. There's no limit with the Lord. God can work with many, or God can work with few. There are two. So they decide to pursue. Let's see the answer of the armor bear. You don't wish to be that armor bear, eh? Verse 7. His armor bear said unto him, 
Do all that is in your heart. Do all that is in your heart. If it was me, I would be like, I think you can see we are outnumbered. Yeah. It's very wise for us to make calculated risk, and this is not a, a good risk. Let's go back home. Let's gather the other 600 men. But the other 600 men, they don't have weapons. But this armor bear said, do all that is in your heart. Behold, I am with you according to your heart. He said, do that is in your heart. Can you imagine that you say that? Who think you are Pambi? In Kabinas Pambi. Go forward. He says, do all that is in your heart. Which leads me here to this point. The sermon is about favor and influence. Influence, we see it here, when God gives influence to Jonathan. In the face of danger, he just says, I want to pursue. And his armor bear says, do what is in your heart. We see Jonathan is not forcing this guy to follow him. But this guy just wants to follow Jonathan. God is going to give you influence. The ability for people to listen to you. Yes. Yes. You see, when you are a parent, you need divine influence over your children. If your children are five years and you think you are the best parent, wait till plus ten. Just add ten from five. Then it begins to not really work according to the test book. When they are 20 is something else again. So between 15 and 20 is a lot of mishmash. It's, you are at Gibeah and the Philistines are coming from all directions. <laughs> Amen. There comes a time where your child, okay, when they were five, they thought you know everything. You are the wisest of the wise. You are Solomon's half-brother. When they reach 15, they realize he's not wise. He's not matured. He's not deep. They'll start asking you questions to test you and to do things. So it takes God to influence your child. And only the Lord gives such influence. If you go on your strength and say, na, na mwana kya mosota. Uta mohama, batle ba utwari, utwarise. But at the end, the child will still be the way they are. So, it is only the Lord who gives influence. He's going to give you influence in your workplace. Please, keep my Bible, keep it like that before any party stress. Just keep it like this. So, he will give you, Im give me influence with them, Lord. So he'll give you influence with your husband. Somebody say, I need that one, Lord. He'll give you influence with your wife. How many of you sometimes you can try to force matters, but it's not forcing? I don't know who told you, but you should have done a softy softy. I'm not softy softy. No, I'm not 32 zinos. What makes you think they'll listen to you? It, and you can't just say yeah. that doesn't it, it takes supernatural like the God makes the person good yeah. you are great yeah. just, just are great <laughs> guys when you start shelling a girl you are talking to a girl you are proposing and you are I mean they are looking at you when they start looking at you from the head to the toes you already know that you are not winning. So it takes, it takes divine influence. Like, like when you say, so born. Like, as a matter of color, I'm a Manhattan. There's a matter of music behind what you are saying. Like, it takes God. God, when you go to that uh, uh, interview, He'll give you influence with those that are interviewing you. Yes. He'll give you influence. Yes. He'll give you influence. He'll give you influence with the projects that you are running at work. He'll cause the people to listen to you. Yes. 
which goes to, tr- to faith, uh, favor. Favor has to do with people trusting you yes. and having confidence in you yes. and having a feeling that if you do it, it's going to be done. Yes. So God is going to give you favor and influence. Yes. Just favor and influence. The, 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 ah. Listen, I am a leader and my work is to lead, to teach, to preach. And I know a place where I would try to speak to people and I know I don't have influence with these people. And there are times where I visit other churches and I'm there to preach. When I get there and I realize, oh, I don't have influence with these people, the influence maybe is with their pastor, their said man. So you have to know those dynamics. But some of us, we just think our influence is across the board. And it takes God to take you from one board to the next. One border to the next. From South Africa to Tanzania, Tabo Peste. Because you had influence in Maum, Mangaum prison. So, and, and you, you get what I'm trying to say. You, all right, all right, all right. It's too, 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 it's too early, Pastor Chap. Please don't give us that example. We are tired of that guy. <laughs> Amen. Your influence to stretch from one level to the next. Because maybe you have influence with your husband, but not with your children. Maybe you have influence with your children, not at work. So you think, just like your husband loves you, you think that they worship the ground you walk on. So it takes God for another person like you to start saying, yeah, 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 yeah. We write, we write when, when we write, when we write, when we write. I see God giving you influence in the name of Jesus. And your influence will cross borders, will cross, will cross doors, will cross regions, will cross Neighborhoods will cross. Yes. Somebody say amen. amen. So this Amma Bear believed in the leadership of Jonathan. Don't count it a small thing when God makes people to follow you. Don't count it. It's not an everyday thing. You, you, you know. Sometimes you look yourself in the mirror. You can convince yourself. Like you look yourself in the mirror like. Can I tell you a funny story? Okay. Yes. So, umkulu. Come on, fundis. So now he's home to be with the Lord now. So as he was now elderly and he had dementia. So, now, umalume, they had been telling him dementia we are So he was not believing it. Then he took umkulu wayosala nae lasala koy. So manjo umkulu u bona u ya espilini. Manja magasa spilini a mirror. He sees himself in a mirror. But he's even forgotten is himself. So he tells the family, he says, <laughs> So sometimes you get myself. It's not you can look yourself in the mirror. You have forgotten yourself. Amen. Amen. What more you have to convince somebody else? But God is going to give you influence. Influence. It's when you are a stutterer like Moses. You can't speak so well. You are not eloquent. But God makes you a spokesperson of the country. 
You are the spokesperson. You speak for the country. But you know you can't speak. Because God's strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. So God shows up the most when we don't feel too strong. Jonathan was relying on the strength and the grace of the Lord to show up. So as I'm preaching about influence and preaching about favor, begin to believe God for favor and for influence. Okay, let me say this as I'm taking the sermon to the next point. So I am praying to the Lord, I'm asking the Lord, why have I prayed for this person and things have not happened as yet as I thought they will happen in their lives? And then the Lord, I ask him over days, I keep asking him. I said, is it an issue that we should wait as they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength? Should I continue waiting? Then the Lord answers me, he says, no, that's not the problem. He said, this person is a matured believer. But even when you spoke a word and you prayed for them, they didn't use their faith. They sat there without receiving what you are saying. So faith is like Isandla. That you use to grab and to hold what you are being given. So you must use your faith to believe God for this. As I'm saying, he's going to give you influence and he's going to give you favor, then you must believe God for him. Amen. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. The Lord wants to, give, to make you the star of the nations. Didn't hear that? He wants to make you the star of the nations. When they choose you in an interview, God has made you the darling of that interview. Amen. He has made them to like you. Pray to be liked. It's a, it's, a prayer, it's a prayer point you must pray over and over in your life. Pray your children to like you. Pray your spouse to like you. Pray, pray people to like you. Pray for it. Hi, Bazalan. So you need Zulu now. Baba means a soft Baba, please. How Baba can say Baba means a soft. Make his It's your chance. Beg Baba means a soft. <laughs> Pray for those things. Men's are soft. Amen. soft. You know voucher. You voucher. What is that? If I would try, look at Baba soft to me. I say penny never. Say penny. <laughs> Pray and ask God, Lord, men are soft. It's called favor. I'll show you. Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature. He increased in wisdom and in stature. Increase in wisdom and in stature. What is stature? Wisdom we know. Wisdom is not having information. These people about from the encyclopedia or Wikipedia or Abapizigu YouTube and have all information. John van Riebeck arrived 1652. What, 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 the, the, out there, yeah, but there's no sound because but then there's no air. See, that's information. And because you see, as I'm saying these things, I sound intelligent. But wisdom is not information, it's the ability to use information yes. and to use it at the right time. Somebody say amen. So 
Jesus increased in wisdom. The ability to read the situation. Like for an example, if we give, I'm, I'm not saying anything to MC or to Anam Shanje or anyone who was leading. I'm just making an example. Like, let's say Usam Shatweni, he program me and be And you know I'm shouting about my court, they are always, oh, I'm, I'm they are always late. Hallelujah. Amen, sisters. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And, and now, une, une speech is like, I And I see what we want. Now you come, now the speech is like, I see the, I see the, so, okay. And I see the, no, good. And unless those kuluma, they are bombastic, powerful things. But I can already see you don't have wisdom with people. Because we have to discern and read the situation. Even at work, even in life, those that go forward, they have the ability to discern when to say something, how to say something. Because sometimes it's not good to you are wrong. It's just that what you say and what the person understands are not the same. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So he increased in wisdom. So he'll, he'll give you the wisdom to work with your clients. Because yeah. not all clients are the same. Yeah. Not all must be treated the same. Yeah. You must know what to say. And God is going to give you the ability to know what to say. Amen. Yeah. I said the ability to know what to say. Yes. See, if you were here on 8 o'clock, my sermon is very different, but I'm preaching the same sermon. Because I'm preaching to different people. Yes. So, the ability to read situation and read Abandu. Yes. 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 What is stature? We know what is wisdom. Stature is how God makes you look in the eyes of that person. Like, he makes Palisa to see me in a good way. That's stature. I think I look good, but maybe Palisa doesn't think I look good. So even if I think I look good, if Palisa doesn't think I look good, it doesn't work. So stature is when God begins to whisper in the hearts of people like, Jesus made me, uh, he just, okay, he, he just dropped something in my spirit. He said, he didn't come from Jerusalem. He came from Gubi, Bethlehem, Alasa, Judea, and Nazareth. So Nazareth was an obscure, awkward, small town. Nazareth, oh, I nearly mentioned a town. I needed to prepare someone before they become offended. What is a small town? Oh, welcome. Hale. I love a good day, you volunteer. Please, people in welcome, all the welcome nights, I didn't volunteer. Somebody from welcome here said welcome. So I'm using welcome. So now he hails from this, the town that has no traffic lights but circles. <laughs> he has to come from welcome be great in that region. Move from there. Come to Val. Be great in Val. And move. Even if we are champion, we are not a champion. You need another strength. To be a champion here. Ay, 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 ay. Hey! <laughs> we are not easily impressed. When you come, let's say you have an event. Besa utu uza ne musician etu mile. Sithala na wo. Sithala na wo la. So asim wa we ama musician. You'll have to have something extra than extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one man. Se asitira la. Welcome. Se natira la. Mwababanu bala. Ay, 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 ay
So Jesus now came to Jerusalem, but he began the talk of the town. Why? Because the spirit of the Lord was on him. Wisdom and the Lord gave him stature. Note, he increased. Somebody shout, increase. increase. I see you increasing. Somebody shout, increase. increase. I see you have influence, but your influence is little. God is about to take your influence into a bigger, bigger, bigger influence. Receive it and give the Lord a big shout of praise. Suddenly, things will begin to work in your life. Suddenly, you will be seen. Suddenly, you will be accepted. Suddenly, you will be believed. Oh God, oh God, you didn't hear what I just said. You didn't hear what I just said. 